I was looking at the work of Costa Ceremetis and Marley McFly and it inspired me to try something out in Procreate, though on a simpler level. In this tutorial video, we will collage two photos, apply halftone effects, and then mimic oil paint streaks to create a work of art. Here are some completed examples, but in this video, I'll show you how I created this one. This should take you about 40 to 60 minutes to complete. Use the YouTube chapter markers to assist you if needed. How to collage images and apply halftone effects in Procreate. For this task, you will need two images. I'm going to search for the Incredible Hulk. When you find an image you like, tap on it to see the size. We will be creating work A3 in size, so I'd suggest finding something at least 1000 pixels. To save the photo, tap and hold. When the window opens, select Save to Photos. Find another image to include in your work. I'm going to search and save an image of a classic car. We are now ready to start our work. Open up Procreate. In the top right corner, press the plus sign. Here you will see some options, but we are going to create our own canvas size. Press the black rectangular box with a plus sign in it. Change the dimensions to millimeters and enter 420 for width and height. This is the length of an A3 size paper. Enter 297 by 420 if you want A3 size. Enter 300 in the DPI area. DPI means dots per inch. The higher the DPI, the less pixelation occurs if we were to draw. The higher the DPI also reduces the amount of layers available to you. Click Create when done. Our document opens and you can decrease or increase the size by pinching two fingers in or out. You can also turn or rotate it if you wish by pinching your two fingers and turning as well. The first thing we need to do is insert the photos we will use. Go to the Actions tab or the Wrench icon here in the left hand corner. Select Add, Insert a Photo. Tap which photo you will use. The photo will automatically appear in the center of the canvas. Click Fit to Canvas here at the bottom. To increase or decrease the size, use the corner nodes to drag it in or out. One thing to be aware of is that if the photo runs off the frame and you then set it, that section of the photo will be lost. You see here if I now move it, the photo has been cut. I'm just going to undo since I have not set it yet. It's good then to create a duplicate of the photo just in case. To do this, go into the layers panel up here in the top right corner. Swipe the layer to the left and press duplicate. The photo will be copied on a new layer. We can turn off one of these photos by deselecting the box. We probably won't need it, but it's good to have it as a backup. I'm going to increase the size and reposition my Hulk simply by sliding him around. If you are not sure about your layout at this stage, you can do this later. The green circle at the top is for rotating the photo, but for mine, I won't be needing it. To set the image and exit, deselect the arrow in the blue circle from the top right. Repeat these steps for your second image. Go to the Actions tab, select Add, Insert a Photo. Tap the photo and it will appear in the center of the canvas. Click Fit to Canvas here at the bottom. Go up to the Layers panel, swipe left and duplicate the image. You can tap, hold and drag the layer lower in the stack to keep it out of the way. Turn off one of them. I'm also going to turn off the other car layer as I will work on the Hulk first. You see we have a layer called Background and it is automatically set to white. We're going to change it to red. Use the color disc or classic option at the bottom to do this. We will be erasing the page of the Hulk image and since that area is white on the photo, it may prove a little difficult to see, hence the red. The contrast will be easier for us to see it. Go to the eraser tool located just next to the layers icon. We are going to go into Calligraphy and select Monoline. If you tap on the Monoline Eraser, a window will open where you can adjust the properties. If you have shaky hands, you may want to stabilize it or adjust the pressure, etc. You can test this out in the drawing pad area here on the right. Feel free to explore this if you have difficulties. Click Done to exit. Let's make sure we are on our correct layer. So I'm on my Hulk layer and using the Eraser. Since we have a red background layer, when I erase parts of this layer or photo, it will show up red and be easier to see if I miss any spots. I'm going to zoom into the image by pinching in two fingers. You can adjust the size of the eraser from the slider over here on the left. I'm going to go along the edges and erase all the white. If you make a mistake, simply press the back arrow or undo button. If you took an image of a person, 
you may be better off going into the eraser area and selecting airbrush, soft brush. This does not leave a hard erase line. This is useful for going around hair, especially if it is curly. Back to my Hulk. I'll speed up here just erasing the edges and then the remaining parts. I often rotate my canvas doing this as it's just easier to work this way. When done, all my white will now look red. I'll now go into the layers panel, turn off Hulk and turn on the car layer. I'll do the same thing here, erasing all the background. You see I downloaded a stock image photo here and it has a watermark across it. Let's see if that affects our work once we apply effects to it. I'm done with all my erasing and will now change the red background layer to white again. I'll also turn on my Hulk layer to see the two images together. We are now ready to apply effects. Choose one of your photos. It doesn't matter which one is first. Go up to the top left area to the Adjustments tab. Select Hue, Saturation, Brightness. On the bottom window, lower hue and saturation all the way down to make the image black and white. You can also adjust the brightness if you wish. Do the same for the second photo. You can also go back into Adjustments and select Curves if you wish further manipulations, but this could be optional. Tap Adjustments to exit. Go to the Adjustments tab again, and towards the bottom, select Halftone. Initially, the effect will be at zero. Simply slide your Apple Pencil to the right to apply the effect, or left to lower it. Press the Adjustments tab button to exit. Repeat this step for the second photo. I'm going to press the arrow tool at the top here to reposition my car image and make it a little smaller. You can do this with your images if needed. Just remember to select the correct layers. Press the blue arrow again to set and exit. I'm going to go to the Adjustments tab again and select Glitch. As with the halftone effect, slide your Apple Pencil to the right to apply it, or left to lower it. Press the Adjustments tab button to exit. I'm going to maybe do this with the second image as well. And I don't think I will. Instead, let's try the Bloom effect and play with the Burn slider at the bottom. No, I don't really like that either. Let's try one more. Let's try Chromatic Aberration. That's kind of interesting. Let's see what happens when I click Displace. Here I'm sliding my pencil over the image to mix up the placement and I kind of like it. Maybe it would look better if I change the background from white to black. Yes, I think that works better. We are now ready to apply some marks to our work. Go to the Layers panel and create a new layer on top. We'll first apply some marks here to see how it looks. I'm going to go to the brush library and select Painting, Oil Paint. Remember, if you tap on the brush, the brush properties window will open if you need to make any adjustments. If we tap and hold an area on the image, you will see this happen. This is a color picker. I'm going to use this green and apply some very light color over the Hulk's face. Let's also see what happens if I apply it directly onto the image layer. I'm going to put some stronger marks on the bottom right corner. Now I'll try with some of this purple and make longer gestural strokes. The important part is to experiment and try things out. You can always undo if you don't like it. Feel free to try out some of the other brushes too, such as airbrush or spray paint. Maybe I'll try duplicating this Hulk layer and repeating him somewhere else in the work. I kind of like him down in the bottom corner here. I'll use the smudge tool just to blend it in a bit. And I think I might be done. To save our work, go to Actions and select Share and JPEG. It will then prepare for export. Then click Save Image and it will be saved in the Photos app. You can also go to Share, JPEG and select AirDrop if you wish to export it to another device. So you see that process was fairly simple and this tutorial was a basic outline. To take it further, re-examine Marley McFly's work. Further layers could be created for additional collage effects, some with halftone, some without. The hue, saturation and brightness levels under the Adjustments tab could also be played with for some interesting possible effects. Some layers could also include drawings. 
Cartoon character layers could be applied simply by tracing over an existing photo. Speckle or splatter erasers could be applied to make them appear aged or more handmade. If you like this kind of work, also check out the work of Fail. Thanks for checking out this video. I have a few other Procreate tutorials as well, if interested. The playlist will be linked above in the video. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, or leave a comment, suggestion, or video request below. This has been a Video Production.